Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Tamika and I want to give a testimony um, to how good God is. Um, I have been connected to um, Apostle uh, Andrew Smith and his wife on Facebook for probably a couple years now. Um, I guess I can start with my first testimony. I know I've done a video about it already. But um, I had went on the conference call line. Um, it was over a year ago. Um, I had to go to court the next day and I wasn't able to speak to them on the conference call. So I messaged them on Facebook. And after I messaged uh, Apostle on Facebook and asked him for prayer and he told me everything was going to work out in my favor um, with my court case, I went to court um, the next day, um, my lawyer had actually told me that this judge was really bad. He had given me all this advice of what to say and what not to say. And, um, I want to say that after speaking with, um, apostle and I went to court that following day, um, my judge had a family emergency and he wasn't even able to show up. And I know that was the work of God and prayers um, so I just want to thank God again for, um, what God has done for me and being connected to this ministry. Um, the, the judge that I did get that day, um, was a lady and she just hurry up and said, um, everything was good and I won my case and, um, everything's been great. And so I just want to say, um, yesterday, <laughs> Um, I had sold a seed um, the first of this month, um, and uh, which was the first time I sold a seed, which I should have sold, sold one long time ago. <laughs> but I sold a seed into their ministry. Um, the Lord spoke to me, and he told me to sow a seed to KCI ministry, and, he, and the Lord just kept saying it to me over and over again. And so I said, okay, God, I'm going to be obedient. And I sold a seed. Um, I was going through some stuff, and... Um, having some financial issues and it's kind of hard to let go of the little money that you have but I held on to it and I kept trying to get in touch with them like okay Lord you said so it to them you know I'm, I am connected to a lot of different ministries um and I'm a part of a, a church um here where I live at um but I um got in a call yesterday because my son um had on the 7th of October, I went to court with him. He's 21 years old, and he, um, what the judge say, and had violated probation because he continued to get pulled over by the police um, over and over again. For some reason, they continued to stop him, but he had been on probation since he was 19 years old um, for something real petty that he had done um, in an apartment complex when, that we lived in a couple years ago. But anyway, um, the judge had given him four months. And for my son, I'm thinking like, Lord, you know, I don't know how he's going to make it in there because he's really um, a good kid and he's not really bad. And, you know, he hasn't murdered anybody or done nothing criminal wise. And so that really, it really hurt me. But um, I had gotten a call on the 12th at 2 a.m. in the morning that my son had an altercation, a fight in jail, um, and he was transferred to the Cobb County Jail here in Georgia. Well, he said he asked them, well, what about the four months that I supposed to do? And, and they said, well, whatever you had going on at that jail is null and void here. Um, we're just going to uh, give you a simple battery charge and we're setting you a bond for $1,300 and uh, I only had to pay $150 to get him out and he done six days in jail. Not four months, 120 days that the judge had given him. So I know um, I had, after I sold the seed, actually I had asked the um, An Apostle Andrew to pray for my son because he had gotten put in jail. So I sent him a picture on Facebook, on Messenger, and I asked him and I told him, I said, well, my son um, had gotten sentenced to four months in jail and he really didn't do nothing, you know, and um, could you just pray for him? 
you know. And I know this was God because people in, in jail had told him because he was on probation that um, if you get into a fight while you're in jail and you were already sentenced to something that they give you more time. Well, my son is home with us today. And so I just want to thank God for Apostle Andrew um, and his wife um, and for the prayers, you know. Um, one thing I want to say is you don't have to be a part of their ministry for them to reach out to you. All you have to do is reach out to them and they will respond. And that's totally a blessing. You know, back home, I come from a big church where you couldn't even get in touch with the pastor. So um, I, I want to say that um, they are truly um, awesome men and women of God because, you know, God does things in mysterious ways. Um Whoever knew that the judge wasn't going to show up that day um, because of a family emergency. <laughs> My son had a fight in jail and he got released. I mean, God is good. So I just want to thank God for them. And I want to tell everyone, you know, um, everybody who was thinking about it or thought about it. I just want to tell you they are true men and women of God. If you're not connected, you need to get connected right now in Jesus name. And thank you. Have a blessed day.